Welcome everyone. In today's video, I wanted to talk about mean finance and its recurring exchange function, which can essentially function as a dollar cost averaging product for you to use. Now, I don't know if it's exactly the first one available on Solana, but it's at least the first one that you can actually get your hands on and use straight away. So I'm really excited for this because it's something that's really necessary in, in the ecosystem. So let me talk about Mean Finance a little bit more. Uh, mean Finance is essentially trying to be a web-free bank. You can use the accounts tab to uh, look at different transactions that your account has made. You can use the exchange tab to do different swaps. You can make it one time or recurring. In today's video, we'll be focusing on the recurring swaps feature in the exchange tab. You can also make transfers as well as deposits. And you can have other services such as payroll and custody in mean finance. So this is quite a good app. It was submitted to the Sun Ignition Hackathon and it got an honorable mention. So it's definitely worth checking out. I think they're doing an airdrop as well. So definitely get onto here, uh, route a few swaps through. Um, but right now I'll talk about the dollar cost averaging potential that Mean Finance has. So the exchange tab here, um, what it does, it aggregates all the different exchanges on Solana and it finds you the best route. So if you were going to do swaps, you know, it might make sense to go to Mean Finance anyway to see if you might get the best prices. If I go into the recurring tab here, we can see here it says frequency and you can change the rate at which uh, trades occur. So you can have them um, okay every Friday, starting today, every two weeks or repeat monthly. So right now there isn't um, any sort of way to customize the dates, but if you're dollar cost averaging, this shouldn't matter too much. And I expect that I'll update it in the future. But for the purposes of this video, I'll just have it on repeat weekly. So it said, let's just say, for example, you wanted to dollar cost average into Sol. So what I would do, I would change this into USDC and this bottom one into Sol. So what I've set up here is that every week, this $10 worth of USDC gets converted into Sol. And at the prices right now, that's 0.04 Sol. If I go down here, you can change the slippage amount. And you don't really need to worry about that too much with Sol because um, it is such a liquid trading pair on Solana. And then if we go over here, we can see the slippage tolerance, the transaction fees paid, the minimum received, price impact, and what exchange that this swap is going to occur on. So what I've set up here, I buy $10 worth of Sol every week. And if I press review, it will take me to this page. So you can adjust um, how long you want to DCA for. So I can set it up to 13 weeks. Um, but for the purposes of this video, I'll just keep it on free. So if I read this, how does it work? You'll deposit 40 USDC in your personal vault. The vault uses the deposit to make the exchanges. And when you're ready, you can get your fresh soul from the vault and only you can withdraw from your particular vault. So if I press deposit here, we see here that the estimated balance changes says I'm losing 0.08 sol, and I also get 40 USDC taken out of my wallet. So what happens with mean finance is that you actually pay all of your fees upfront and then any unused fees get returned to you as well. So this um, 0.08 sol are the fees that I would incur doing these swaps. So 0.08 sol is roughly uh, $18, $19, something like that. And I'm only buying $40 worth of USDC. So it might not actually make sense to do this. It might just be easier for uh, me to go ahead and DCA manually versus paying $18 to do this um, particular transaction. So if you are going to use mean finance to do dollar cost averaging, um, you might want to put in larger amounts because paying $18 to do only $40 just doesn't make sense. There we go. It's been approved. And if I press start, it should give me another approval to click on. And there we go. We've set up our dollar cost averaging here. So buy 10 USDC worth of wrapped sol. So it will be in wrapped sol, um, not your regular sol. But if you go back to the exchange, you have sol in one tab and wrap sol in the other. You can unwrap it and it's quite easy. So you don't have to worry about it too much. So as you can see here, it's already um, exchanged 10 USDC for 0 0.04 wrapped sol. It is Friday today when I'm filming this. So 
it would do that. And the next scheduled exchange is on Friday, November 12th, 2021. So here's the start date, the next time I'm going to do it, and when all my money will run out, which is on the 26th of November. So yeah, that's how you set up uh, dollar cost averaging using uh, mean finances recurring exchange. So to get out of this, all you need to do is press these three dots, press cancel and withdraw everything. So I'm getting my 30 USDC back. Press confirm. And I should also be getting back my 0 0.08 sol, which is nice. And if I press approve here, this vault should close down and I'll get my money back.